Let's do this. This is not rocket science. It's only a sheet mask. So today I'll be trying out a new sheet mask from Pixie. This is their Glow Glycolic Boost Sheet Mask. And the packaging for this reads that this is a brightening infusion sheet mask with glycolic acid, ginseng, and witch hazel. And if you're new here, I review new masks all the time. I have a whole playlist of other face mask reviews linked down below, or you can click the card right there. Also, if you're enjoying this video while watching it, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to know more about this sheet mask, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So I picked this up for $14.99 Canadian. Keep in mind, Canadian prices are always a tad bit higher than US. So the packaging for this when it arrived had me a little confused. So I assumed because Pixie skincare tends to be a little bit more pricey for drugstore that this was $14.99 per mask. As it turned out, it's $14.99 for three. So that ends up working out to $4.65 per mask, which is actually pretty reasonable, especially since Pixie is definitely more on the pricier side of drugstore skincare. And on Pixie's website, it says, this is an instant brightening and hydrating effect sheet mask. Serum concentrated glycolic acid brightens and herbal extracts help to improve and maintain skin health, promoting more luminous skin. So the first ingredient in this is glycolic acid. So glycolic acid is like the holy grail of skin exfoliation. The next ingredient in this is something called red ginseng extract. And according to Paula's Choice database, it says, research has shown that topical application boosts skin hydration, diminishes rough texture, helps fade uneven skin tone, and helps visibly improve wrinkles by working with skin to bolster its natural firmness. The next ingredient is aloe, which has wound healing properties. Next, we have green tea extract, which is a good antioxidant. It has anti-inflammatory properties. After that, we have cucumber extract, which is also an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and has skin conditioning properties. Uh, looking at the ingredients list, I don't see any fragrance, so yay for that. It's hard to find sheet masks that don't have any added fragrance. The best time to use a sheet mask is after cleansing, before moisturizing on bare skin. After cleansing, place sheet mask onto face and pat into the contours to fit snugly. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, remove mask and pat in excess serum into face. Oh, this is interesting. Store in fridge for a refreshing depuffing effect. Never considered that before. There really is no added fragrance. I mean, there is a serum-y smell to it, but that's to be expected. Unfortunately, there's no plastic divider, but I mean, it's not a necessary thing. It just makes unfolding these things a bit easier. Okay, let's do this. This is not rocket science. It's only a sheet mask. So this mask was a little slimier than I was expecting, but um, I didn't really have any issues getting it to conform to my face. They have like these little nicks in the side that make it easy to maneuver and shape. I mean, there are certain areas that were trickier than others, obviously, but uh, I know some sheet masks are a little bit more temperamental than others. Sometimes you have to sit super still in order to feel confident they're gonna stay on, but this, I feel like it's pretty much on there. I don't feel like it's gonna fall off at any moment. All right, so it says leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so time is 1.34, so I will see you in 10 to 15 minutes. It's been a little over 15 minutes. The time is 1.50. All right, so let's get this thing off. There's actually quite a bit of serum left. It's probably gonna take a couple of minutes to dry completely. Although at this point, it doesn't feel like super sticky, which is good because uh, I'm not a real big fan of sticky serums. So I'll just bring this down my neck a little bit and try and thin the serum out. So I just wanna give this a couple of minutes to dry. My face is entirely way too damp, although so far, so good. I don't feel any crazy stick, but um, I'll give this about five to 10 minutes to dry and then I'll come back with my thoughts on this mask. So we're calling the time at two o'clock. I've given this a good 10 minutes to dry. So let's check to see if there's any. Nope, there's absolutely no pulling. 
So that's a plus, no sticky residue. I don't know, I always find with me that it's trickier to find sheet masks that don't leave like a really sticky residue behind. And oddly enough, my skin feels super hydrated, which I wasn't really expecting. I know there's other ingredients in here other than glycolic acid, but um, I don't know, I for whatever reason expected this to dry out my skin. So I didn't have any sort of skin reactions while wearing this mask. I didn't have any burning. I didn't have any redness once I removed it. And that kind of caught me off guard because although glycolic acid is a great ingredient for exfoliating, it can also be a little bit irritating for the skin. And that's most likely because this mask contains a large amount of aloe. But up close, my skin looks really nice. It looks nice and hydrated. It's most likely gonna take a few more treatments before I see any crazy brightening effects that this mask has. But uh, so far, I like this one. I'm gonna keep using it. I think the price is right. It seemed a little expensive at first when I thought I was paying $14 for one mask, but $14 for three is something that I can get behind. So if you have any further questions about this mask, just leave them in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.